Okay, so for today's video, we are going to hop into January favorites, which is crazy to me because it seriously feels like just yesterday. It was 2010 or whatever year it was, and I was just getting home from Singapore, and it's just crazy to me that we're already a month into 2011. And even when I say 2011, I keep almost stuttering and saying 2010 or 2009 because Holy moly, time is flying so fast. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop right in. Um, some of these things I have said before, but most of them I don't think I've mentioned. No, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and hop right in. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is scents. So in my last video, which was my Valentine's video, I believe, I mentioned that I'm in love with vanilla. Um, and I'm pretty much in love with any scent that is kind of based in vanilla. So, um, and I have like three, my three favorite scents are from Victoria's Secret. It's Vanilla Lace, um, Coconut Passion, I think it's called, and then this one. And this scent I've actually been wearing probably the most this month. Um, there's two scents out of all my scents, and it is this one. It is Amber Romance by Victoria's Secret. It is, I literally don't even know how to explain it because I'm not even sure what Amber I guess Amber smells like this, but I don't even know how to explain it. It's a vanilla-based scent. I really like sweet-smelling scents. Um, and even still, when I spray this, like, oh, it smells so good. I'll still mix it with vanilla. So I mix vanilla with this and um, also with the next scent that's in the lineup. So sorry if I'm, like, bending over out of screen. I'm trying to, like, grab all my stuff off here. So the next scent um, I did mention in my Valentine's Day video, I had wanted this scent for so long, and my two dear friends, Natalie and Erin, hi guys, um, in Singapore for my birthday last year, got it for me before I left because they knew I wasn't going to spend like that much money on myself, and it is Armani Diamonds. Um, I love this scent. It's another really like sweet scent, but they're almost, seems to be a tiny hint of like a citrus. I don't know, but I mixed this with vanilla too. This is like more perfumey, which I'm more into like body splashes, but I'll wear this when I want to feel like really, I don't know, adult. I still mix it with vanilla though, because I love everything mixed with vanilla. So those um, are my two scents for the month. The next cat, oh no, 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 body care. Okay, we're talking to that. So if you follow me on Facebook, <clears throat> then you saw like, I don't even know, like two weeks ago, I went to the store and they had this crazy sale on Hemp's body moisturizers. So, um, ew, that's gross. My hair is stuck to it. So I got two bottles of these. They're, li they're just little bottles. They're like smaller than my hand, but I've been using them quite a bit and they don't seem to get used up very quickly. I got this flavor and the pomegranate flavor and this flavor um, is my favorite of the two. I like the other one too, but this one's just like, it's just really good and I am obsessed. It's lasting. I don't even know how it's lasting. I've been using it all the time. I keep it in my purse. I use it when I get out of the shower and um, it's amazing. And I'm really into moisturizers that are natural. They seem to work better on me. Dream Cream, as I've told you, is like my favorite moisturizer of all time, hands down. Um, but this is pretty stinking good and it's, I think it's entirely natural or pretty stinking close to being natural. Um, yeah, it's enriched with 100% pure organic hemp seed oil. It's just, it's really good. I got this for like a dollar. Oh, it's normally $7.50. You can see that I got it for a dollar like 60. Yeah, so it was really cheap. That's why I picked up two. Okay, so that is all for the body care. Moving on, um, the next thing on my list, this is really random, and to tell you the truth, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I picked this up from Lush back in maybe. I don't even know, November. It was when I did my Lush haul. Um, and I told you I was gonna give you a review on how I like this, and I really, I hate to say it, but I thought I was gonna be giving it a negative review. And it is the Lush Color Supplement Multi-Base um, Color, and I got light yellow. And what they did is they just made a base color based on your undertone. So there's a yellow, a pink, and I think that's, and then they made like a really dark one too. Um, so it just is like this. It's a pot of color. Let me do a little swatch for you on my hand. So I stuck my finger and it's like that. It's perfect for me because I'm really, really fair. So I don't know if you can see that. Like well, my wrist is maybe a bad. You see that? So, um, and it kind of blends in. It blends in pretty well for me. Um, they say you can use it like with your moisturizer. I have been using it. Truthfully, it's really moisturizing almost to the point of making you a little greasy kind of. So I've been using it as a concealer because where I break out tends to get drier, like more dry anyways. 
So it's actually great that it's so moisturizing because a lot of the times concealers can really like flake up and all that stuff. Um, it's not a very heavy coverage, um, but it is very brightening. I've also been using it under my eyes and they look just more awake. I've just, I've really been liking this and I think it was like seven bucks and I literally have probably 70% of the container left. So I'm shocked. I did not expect this to be in a favorites video, but I'm really liking it. Okay, so the next makeup product, um, I've got two blushes here. The first blush is from e.l.f. and it is in the color Tickled Pink. I'm gonna go ahead and show you like that. So it's a really pretty pink color. I'm gonna go ahead and show you on my finger. Just right there. Um, not really much to say. It's not, it's pretty matte. Um, I like it. I don't know. It's, I like it. That's pretty much it. Um, and the next blush that I really liked this month, and it's weird because I like it, that's why it's my favorite, but I'll, I'll tell you. So it's a really pretty color, and it's CoverGirls, um, what's it called, Rose Silk. Let me show you that again. So it's CoverGirls Rose Silk. Um, a lot of people say that it is a dupe to NARS Orgasm, but this is what I don't like about it. I like the color, there's the color, um, but it's not very pigmented, like the color payoff isn't that great. So you have to kind of use quite a bit to get it going. Maybe I just like a lot of blush, but um, the color is really pretty and it's really cheap. And so for the price, I really like this. It's really, I like it. Okay, so the next makeup product, and you guys, I'm sure you guys have been hearing me rave about this. I'm in love. It's my new favorite mascara and it's Revlon Grow Luscious. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the brush. It's a pretty fat brush, which tend to be my favorite. Um, I don't know if it's growing my lashes, I don't think so, but um, it's just a really good mascara. It really lengthens my eyelashes, um, gives them a lot of volume, so I'm really liking this mascara. Uh, the next product, the final makeup product, um, I just tried NYX makeup products this month for the first time, and you know, I'm liking them okay. I only got some jumbo pencils, and then I got this lip gloss, but I'm really liking this lip gloss. I think it's my favorite lip gloss I've had in a while. And it's the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss, which first off isn't really true. It's not really shiny, like that shiny, which is actually what I like about it because I'm not a huge lip gloss fan, excuse me. And this is in the color, what is it called again? Ah, Pink Frost, so right there, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and it's kind of a frostier version of Turkish Delight by NARS. So the, the thing is a little bit, the applicator is a little different. It's kind of like, um, if you've had the Falsies mascara, how it bends up, that's what it does. It kind of bends up. But um, let me give you a little like swatch on my hand. I'm really bad at swatches, but there it is. You know, it's showing up more pink than it, like more pink than it is, but it's really kind of, there you go. You can kind of see it's kind of pearly. It is very frosty and pearly, but um, I'm actually, I like it, and the consistency is really nice. It's not too sticky, which is the main reason I don't like lip glosses that much, and it smells like bubble gum, so cool. All right, so that is it for the makeup products. Um, the next product I have is a our nail colors. So the first one, I have been wearing it 24-7, and don't look at my nails right now because they're totally chipped and I need to paint them tonight, but it is the Revlon Top Speed Fast Dry Nail Enamel in Lily, and um, it looks, from what I can tell, everybody talks about Gumdrop. I think it's a pretty similar color. It's a very light purple, um, and I've just been wearing it a lot. I really like it. And the second color has been in my favorites videos before. I know, but it is Sonia Kashuk's Tote. And every time I wear this, I get asked if I'm wearing You Don't Know Jacques by OPI, and I'm not. I'm wearing this. And I believe they still sell it at Target, So, um, which the Revlon's at Target too, so you can still pick this up. Okay, so that is it for nail products. The next few products are kind of random. The first one, a friend of mine um, turned me on to a couple months ago, and I'm gonna tell you about her in a second, but, and it is this Rose Petal Rose Water. Um, I just picked it up at Whole Foods, I think it was like seven bucks, and I have been using this as kind of a makeup setting spray, and also kind of like a moisturizer, and it kind of renews your makeup, and also, um, when I wear too much, like if I'm, I only use powder foundation, I use concealer and then a little powder. Um, I'll use this to spray it and I'll take my brush and kind of stipple it and get it over like anywhere where I'd have lines and it kind of 
melt like melts it in there a little better and kind of dilutes the powder if that's the right word so i've been using this for a few months so it should have been in another favorites video maybe it wasn't i don't remember but it's really great and it's really cheap and it lasts for a really long time and rose um is just really great for your skin and really hydrating so and it's very cheap so i like it all right, so the last and final product has been, I think, in quite a few favorite videos, but literally, I'm burning 24-7, and it is the Slatkin & Co. Homemade Cookies Scented Candle. Now, you're probably going, Nicole, clearly not burning it all the time because it's brand new, but that is because I, like, freaking stocked up on these things during, oh my gosh, it smells so good, during their sale. I came home with, I, oh my gosh, I kid you not, I think I bought, like, 12 candles, the full size three wick ones. And then after that, I got like a bunch of the mini ones. Um, because I burned those in these little like rhinestone or like these crystal hanging things. They're like these little holders that I burn them in. They bounce light everywhere. So I burned those ones in those. And I've been burning them like 24 seven. I'm in love. They smell so good. Um, frosted cupcake also I love, but these ones were on sale and the other ones weren't at the time. Whatever, my Bath and Body Works is weird. So there's that. Oh, I forgot one nail product. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that, I like this. This is the Onyx Professional 321 Dry Salon Nail Dryer. It is the first cheap um, like spray that I've seen like at, like at a drugstore, if that's the right word. Um, at Walmart, they sell it for like three bucks and you just shake it up and spray it in your nails and it helps them dry a little quicker. I've noticed a huge difference, but it definitely makes a difference. And for three bucks to like, shave a couple minutes off every time if you're someone that's typically in a rush like me every time I do my nails, then it's really great. So like three bucks at Walmart, you can't beat that. Okay, so my last favorites category, I'm gonna be looking over here because I wrote everyone down so I don't forget them, are my human favorites. I don't, that was really bad quotes, my human favorites. But they are, they're my human favorites. So these are people that I've just been like loving their channel this month. Um, and I just feel like I should share it and kind of pass it on to you guys. And it's kind of an eclectic mix. So, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a list. So the first one, I know that a lot of my viewers are younger, but I do know that I have a few like young moms as well. So if you're a young mom out there, my friend, Sarah, I've been friends with her since like sixth grade. She has a channel here on YouTube. I'm gonna link that. I mean, all these channels are gonna be linked down below and it is called A Diary of a Stay at Home Mom. And she goes through like um, different types of like cooking and cleaning and I don't know, all these like vlogs on just being a stay at home mom. And she makes it fun and like she's gonna make me, I'm thank God she had a kid before me because I'm gonna need a lot of tips. <laughs> so her channel will be down below. Down below. Um, the second is I have another friend, Mary. She is actually a dancer. And um, you just you have to check out her channel. She's crazy strong. She's so artistic. She's really great. So her channel will also be linked down below. Um, the next person is my friend Rachel. Just started a channel, and she is also a beauty, health, um, purse, fashion nista or whatever. <laughs> she makes videos in here also, and hers is called Check in the Mirror. And yeah, she's really like very very knowledgeable. She's been in the skincare. Um, industry for a really long time, so she knows a ton about everything. She's also down below. Ah, I'm trying to read as I go along. Okay, the other two are people that I have become friends with through YouTube. The next one, and this is, feels so dumb because I should know how to say it because we've talked on here. Um, her name is Jonna, and if I'm saying it wrong, sorry, I tend to do that. Um, and her username is Viva Lajana. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but she is so sweet. And her videos, um, she's just got like the nicest energy about her and just very like sweet and she's informative and just cute. So her channel will also be linked down below. Next one, you're really gonna think I'm weird because I don't even know her real name. She's just like beauty junkie to me because that's her username. And she is also so sweet. She actually had a YouTube channel like a while ago but her like computer got stolen and so her YouTube got hacked and she had to start a new one. But She's just like such a doll and I know that if we knew each other in real life, we'd be friends because she's just, we've got a lot of similar interests and I just found out she's also um, really into health and stuff like that, which is something that I'm really into. And she's just like, she's such a doll. She actually did a video, they've actually both done video responses to me um, in my last few videos, so they're awesome. They'll be linked down below. And the last one, um, now I'm going to feel like I'm kissing butt, but... I'm not, she's just been such a sweetie to me, is Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi. And I'm sure all of you have seen her channel because 
oh my gosh, she has like 100,000 subscribers or something crazy like that. She got over that now. She hit 100,000 like a couple weeks ago. And she is such a sweetie. And I know one day when I meet her at like IMATS or something like that, I'm gonna be like, Amber! I'm just gonna think I'm crazy. But um, she's just been really nice to me and there's really been no reason for her to be because like I said, she's got a million subscribers and um, she's just been very welcoming and nice as I, cause I was very like, nervous I've told you guys like stepping into like the beauty community because it's just a, kind of nerve-wracking and she's just been very welcoming to me so um yeah but even before I kind of just started making videos she was just definitely one of my favorite and so yeah just check her out if there's that like tiny chance you haven't seen her and all these people tell them I sent you I love them all um and just yeah hope you enjoy their stuff last and finally I am on Facebook um, that is linked down below. I am doing a giveaway when I hit my first 500 friends on Facebook. I am doing a giveaway on Twitter when I hit a thousand. I know that's crazy. And um, yeah, I'm on Daily Booth too. So thank you so much guys. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will, oh and one final thing guys, I've also decided I'm going to be doing Ask Nikki's once a week. Oh my gosh, that's a big venture. But I'm going to try to do them every Friday. I think that's the day I'm going to do them. So if you have questions for me, um, just title it Ask Nikki. I will also probably be like once a month or I don't know, I'll be doing beauty editions as well of Ask Nikki. But go ahead and send those my way. Um, like I said, title them Ask Nikki. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Okay, bye.